Hello, guys. So I would like to read Psalms 103. It says, Bless the Lord's holy character. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine inequities, who healed all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our inequities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the rest, so far have he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth, pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourish. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. And his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. So this is just, just um, man, just a reminder that he knows that we are just, we're weak. And we're just, you know, our little frame, but yet. He has so much mercy for us and he loves us that much and he remembers our sins no more you know and he just he's with us and he executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed so he just no matter what how you feel jesus is lifting you up he's always there with you his mercies never run out it's new every morning every day and just like his his you know, his thoughts are higher than ours. So he knows what we're going through, you know, with the problems, tribulations, temptations, you know, everything he knows beforehand. And he knows that, you know, it's, we're weak and we know we need him. And he's always there. He's there with us, holding our hands with through the tribulations and temptations and everything. And after that, even if you sin, Jesus still forgives you. You know, he forgives you. He doesn't remember your sin no more. He just, you know, he wipes it all away and he just looks at your heart. He looks at your face and says, I love you, you know, because he does love you. It's like, you know, the enemy throws condemnation at you and, and guilt. But, you know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, of love and a sound mind. Even though this life is temporary, you know, you know, the wind, you know, is here and it's gone. It's just like us are, you know, we're here and then we're gone. And that's how much we need God because we're not, you know, we're, we're just like dust, you know, we just vanish and, you know, God knows that and he's our God. So we could depend on him and he's, he's going to lift us up and we're not going to vanish, you know, because with Jesus Christ, even if you vanish here, you're going to be a returning with all in heaven with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So just think about that, you know, like we just got to keep his covenant, his commandments, you know, that's all he requires us to do is keep his commandments and just to follow him, not to follow the ways of the world, you know, and, you know, it's not nothing that we're, we're doing, you know, like works or nothing. It's just that we love Jesus and we just like he says, we love him, you'll keep my commandments. So we just got to remember that keeping his commandments, you know, it's 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 like it's our father, you know, our father is telling us to, you know, like he wants us the best for us so we can live a long life. You know, that's why in the Bible it says, honor your father and your mother that your life will be plenty. So he wants us to walk in light and not darkness. And he loves us so much. Uh, it says, as for a man, his days are as grass, as flower of the field. So he flourishes. So think about that. As for a man, his days are as grass, you know, as a flower of the field. So he flourishes. So, you know, it's so life is you know short you know like life is you're here and then you're gone and you're gone you know people pass and die but jesus remembers us you know and he 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 delivers us from destruction and psalms 103 verse 4 says who redeemeth thy life from destruction 
who planteth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles, so he renews us like the eagles. He satisfies, uh, satisfies us with good things by his love, by the, you know, just the creation in front of you is satisfying because it's beautiful. The ocean, the, you know, the trees, even the clouds when it rains, the animals, man, it's amazing. So that's satisfying us with by his creation, by his love, by his attributes, by his God's character, you know, even space looking up at the stars is beautiful. And, you know, like he had made known his rays unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. So he know he made known his race to Moses, knowing that he loves his children, you know, like he rescued them from slavery in Egypt, from Pharaoh. And, you know, he's man, he he you know, he's righteous, he's he's just, he doesn't tolerate evil, you know, but at the same time, he's gonna get you do evil and you know, and vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So we can't take action in our own ways. We got to let God take action, you know. And it says, he have not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our inequities. So he has not dealt with us after our sins. So it makes you think it's like you sin, you know, and he loves you so much that some there's there's he's going to like. You ask for forgiveness for all your heart, he'll forgive you, but yet no destruction has come to you because like consequences, it may not, he may not send a consequence for your sin because he loves you so much. You know, he just wants you to understand that his love is so great that since he forgave you, it, sh it should motivate you, should encourage you to not sin no more, to not do no inequities, you know, to, you know, just because, you know, he forgave you. It doesn't have to like, sometimes he chastises you, but in this case, like, he may not even throw no consequences at you. He may not even, like, just because you sin. He just wants you to follow him and see that he loves you so much so you will not sin no more. So that's interesting, too. Good morning. So that's interesting, too. So it says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. We got to fear our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's, you know, we have to fear him because he he's our mighty God, you know, like, like he is the creator you know he put us here and he could take us away you know and he knows our eternal destination we got to fear him and follow him serve him as we're in this world today um minister to people love people that's the most important to love others you know love god love others and treat others the way we want them to what they that they want us to be treated even us treat others like we would want to be treated that's how god wants us to do treat others the way we would want to be treated and that's showing love to others and um so this is a chapter just knowing that no matter how far we're from god he's always close and romans 8 38 39 his love you know for i'm for, for i'm persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor prosperities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other crazy things should separate us from the love of god which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So just think that, you know, even though we're like, our frame are so, is so tiny, we're tender, you know, his mercy is even greater and his love is so deep and so close to us that we don't have to worry about if we're on the other side of the planet, if we're in Mars and, you know, or, you know, if we're like in the other cro cross of the universe, you know, God created the universe. So that means he's there, you know? So no matter how far we are from God, He's there because he created everything. Think about that. Um, so just a reminder, you know, bless the Lord's holy character. We God is amazing. He loves you guys. And just know that we could do all things through Christ who strengthens us. You know, there may be a lot of problems in this world today, but guess what? Who's a problem solver? It's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus for your pure heart and you will be saved. God bless.